It's not something that you get to dump something on. It's not a big truck. It, it, it's a series of tubes. The internet is so complicated. Uh, this is Sean coming to you from a hot Upper West Side Manhattan. Here's your 60 seconds of social media. Was the doomsday virus a bust? July 9th. The date online security experts warned that the DNS changer virus might leave thousands without internet access came and went without any significant outages. Unfortunately, there are plenty of other nasty programs out there waiting to find a way into your computer system. Computer viruses haven't always been so malicious. One early example, created by a 15-year-old high school student around 1982, displayed a poem when spread to Apple II computers via floppy disk. Now there's no question about it, viruses are big business. It's estimated that 6,000 new viruses are released every month, designed to redirect you online, sell you bogus software, access your personal data, or even make you an unwilling participant in their propagation. Social media is a particularly valuable target. The notorious computer worm Kubeface, designed to spread on Facebook and similar networks, has been vexing IT managers since 2008, earning a reported $2 million a year for its creators. And the newest threat might be in your pocket right now. There are reports that mobile malware increased over 1,000% in the first quarter of 2012. And now for this week's social media shorthand, paywall. A paywall limits access to certain articles or posts of a website to users who have paid a fee. Some newspapers have tried to generate revenue with paywalls, notably the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. No paywall for us. Look for us at Freshwire, like us on Facebook, and see us here next week for 60 Seconds of Social Media.